Hello again. I'm still David Adamson, an AI scientist at Turnitin. So our goal with AI writing detection is to help you, the instructors, understand where and how AI writing tools might be used in submissions to your assignments so you can have conversations with your students and your colleagues about what constitutes appropriate use of AI writing tools, if any. Now, to do that responsibly, you need to know how reliable our detector is and what it looks like when we may be wrong. The metrics we've shared with you so far have been at the document level, including, importantly, our document false positive rate. How often do we say there's a meaningful amount of AI writing in a document when really there's none there at all? And happily, in our lab tests and larger safety tests, this is under 1%. But our detector doesn't just say, hey, maybe there's a meaningful amount of AI writing in your document. We give you a percentage of predicted sentences, and we highlight those spans of the text that may contain AI writing. What does it look like? Let me share my screen. There it is. And you can see here, here's a document that I composed, equal amounts AI writing from ChatGPT and Wikipedia text. I've marked the ChatGPT text in bold. And you can see right away that we have missed a few sentences at the beginning. These are false negatives that lowers our recall. And we're OK with that. We'd rather be a little wrong in this direction. Uh, over a lot wrong in the direction of false positives. But what do false positives look like at the sentence level? Well, here's an example. We've got a sentence here before and a sentence or two after an actual AI span. And in fact, only 10% of our sentence false positives in mixed documents that are partly AI and partly authentic, only 10% of our false positives are more than three sentences away from actual AI writing. Our overall sentence false positive rate against all the sentences in our test set is about 4%, but many of them look just like this. And often we do a great job. Here we are. We don't miss the boundary uh, on these last two AI written segments. So what does this mean? What do false positives like this mean for how you interpret, how you use Turnitin's AI writing report? First, because false positives can happen, at the sentence level and at the document level, take low predict percentages with a grain of salt. A few sentences in a short document, one sentence in a five sentence document, two sentences in a 10 sentence document, that's 20%. Uh, so take a small percent with a grain of salt. Second, consider the highlighted sentences only as areas of interest, conversation items to bring up with your students. The actual specific sentences, the beginning and end, could be wrong. We might miss a few. We might add a few extra. But you can ask your student if the tools are not appropriate in this part of your assignment, what's going on in this section of the writing? Can they explain it back to you? Can they share their process? Can they articulate the main ideas or takeaways from these parts of their writing? So those are just a few ideas. We have lots more teacher tips here on our website under Academic Integrity in the Age of AI. Uh, that can guide you and your colleagues in having these discussions. Thank you, and happy teaching.